ones who bring you the goods from the dock to your store. Our truck drivers at the port work long hours. And they're away from their families many, many days. They operate the cleanest truck fleet in the world, and they maintain their trucks and help keep the nation's most important trade, trade hub secure. These truck employees deserve the right to choose how they are represented and the right to have a voice with their employers. So now is the time not only for advocacy, but for coming up with a new model to promote the best practices, to make sure that workers can earn an honest living, and make sure that our companies are profitable. That's our goal here. We see too many people losing money, losing time away from their families. We see small trucking companies struggling just to survive. And we see truckers who are struggling to survive as well. So we're hoping that by bringing people together, a new business strategy can change this industry. The misclassification of truck drivers are not the gripes of a few truck drivers, but the battle cry of a systemic problem that must be addressed. And I appreciate those trucking companies who are having an honest dialogue about these issues. And I appreciate the workers listening to what the truck companies have to say as well. That's why I'm so proud to be here today on an issue I've worked on for years, but to finally be able to stand here with Port Truck Drivers, the Teamsters, and Saybrook Logistics to announce the launch of EcoFlow, a progressive trucking company that respects its drivers.